time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this movie review started. All right, y'all. I went and saw In the Heights on Mother's Day. It was playing a little special feature on Mother's Day in theaters, and it doesn't come out to June 11th, but it's based on the, the Broadway musical In the Heights of the same name, but you know, produced all that by the Lin-Manuel Miranda. So who did the Hamilton? I mean, if you don't know him, get under from, get out from under that rock. And you know, now it's in theaters, I can, and coming out June 11th. Now let me start off with saying, I'm not huge on like the musicals on TV. I like on the Broadway like type plays. I've been to, you know, the, the plays they have in town, the musicals. I enjoy that. But as far as like watching it on TV, I watch that Hamilton on the TV. I'm gonna tell you I didn't like it as much. I No, shoot me. I know, it's not the same feel. But I'm gonna tell you, they really turned this one and to just uh, Hollywood extravaganza musical. It was wonderful, I loved it. I, of course I love the songs. You know, you're not gonna love the songs, but just the, how the story goes, it, it could get confusing. There's a lot of story going on, a lot of subplots, but the way you know they all tied it together, they kept it in a very you know moving forward kind of way. But also kept it so you're not you can you're introduced to the characters well, and you're not too confused to what's going on in all the different stories. I thought it was great. I loved it. After watching it, that guy Anthony Ram Ramos or whatever plays you saw he. I mean, he's a breakout star. I've seen him in some other stuff, but nothing like huge. And after watching him in this, I'm like, he's amazing. He's been in some other stuff too. I think he was even in the Hamilton. He he blew me away, I'm gonna tell you. And then the, the lady, know, Olga is her name, and she plays the Abdullah, the grandma. She actually plays the same character in the Broadway musical. So she also is playing this and, and this, and in the Broadway musical. I mean, that just tells you, you know, they, they stayed pretty true to the Broadway musical. I know it, it deviated in some parts where I've, you know, researched, you know, the differences and all that. It deviated. It's not exactly the same, but it's still pretty close enough. And message, it really pulls at your heartstrings. It does. I mean, it talks about in, inclusiveness, but also, you know, the the Latino community, our our Hispanic community that, you know, the last few years has been rough. I mean, with ICE going on, but also, you know, people at DACA and wanting to deport the dreamers and all that. This really touches on it. And I feel like it was perfect for the time. I don't know if they wrote it because of what was going on, but it really sent a great message there, but also one that they didn't like shove down your throat. You know, you really got to learn about the community more than just them telling you, you know, you know, we're dreamers, you know, you got to see their backstory and where they're coming from and, and just how the community works and how they're an integral part of, you know, our our country and deserve to be here. They're part of they're they're part of what makes up the country and it really makes you feel so let's take a look at what parents need to know before letting their kids see this. It has some language, but I you know, some profanity, but I don't think it was overly, you know, bad language. They had the S word the A word. What else they have? The, the day, they said damn hell. Even like they had a song talking about like skanking it and stuff. So I mean, you're not going to get too harsh or profanity. No F words or anything like that. There's going to be a little bit. Mostly so they're in the song. Like I said, the mature content. They're going to have some discussions about sex. Even in the song. It's mostly in the songs where they talk about the skank and, and people having sex and stuff like that. They have some kissing. Right? They have some kissing um, and and alcohol being consumed. But, you know, I thought it was something that you totally could take the kids to see. They're gonna enjoy it. A lot of the stuff might even go over their heads. When they're singing about the songs, you know, about sex and stuff, it might go right over their heads. They won't even pay attention to what's going on. I said, I really enjoyed it. 
more, I enjoyed it more than I thought I would, to tell you the truth. I was pleasantly surprised just how wonderful I thought it was, just how great, just how into it I was. It was kind of long, over two hours, but it didn't even feel like it. out June 11th in theaters. I saw it in the theater. I suggest the theater. I love seeing it on the big screen. The people in the crowd were applauding, just that community feel. If you've seen it, if you got a, 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 an advanced screen of this one, if you went and saw it on Mother's Day, it was playing all around, let me know what you think. If you saw the Broadway musical, I want to know too. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time, mwah!